Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. We see a lot of 2.5 gigabit Ethernet adapters these days, but not many 5 gigabit adapters. But I just got in this one from Pluggable, and I thought I would give it a test and show you how it works. This will support 5 gigabit networks provided it's plugged into a 10 gigabit per second USB 3.2 port. So you don't need Thunderbolt or a USB 4 connection to achieve 5 gig speeds. And we'll put it to the test in a few minutes on my Mac here. Now I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that this came in free of charge from Pluggable. However, no other compensation was received. No one has reviewed or approved what you're about to see before it was uploaded and all opinions are my own. So let's get into it now and see how this adapter works. Now the price point on these Pluggable products do vary from time to time. At the moment, this costs about $30 on Amazon with a coupon, so not all that expensive. What I like about this one is its chipset. It is running with a Realtek RTL8157 chipset. Now I found the experience to be plug and play on Linux and the Mac. On Windows, it did come up without having to go through a manual driver installation, but I was not seeing the download performance that I expected out of it. So I did download drivers from Pluggable's website. I suspect those drivers will update at some point in Windows itself. So the performance issues that I experienced probably won't be issues for long. A couple of years ago, there were a bunch of these five gig adapters that came out on the marketplace that were running with chipsets that were not all that compatible or stable. This one so far has been plug and play and reliable. So that's a good thing. Now, again, this is a five gigabit adapter. It will, though, support 2.5 and 1 gig and even 100 megabit connections, depending on the switch that you're plugging it into. But, of course, you will need to attach it to a network switch that can support 5 gigabits or greater. Additionally, your USB port needs to support 10 gigabit per second connections. So if you plug it into a 5 gig USB-C port, you'll get speeds below the 5 gigabit uh, performance that this can provide. So you do need a 10 gig port for the best performance. If you've got a Thunderbolt or a USB 4 port, you're fine, but if you don't, check your computer specifications to make sure you plug this in to the right port. With that out of the way, why don't we plug it in and see how it works. All right, so we've got it plugged into my Mac, and you do have some indicator lights on here to give you an idea as to the health of your connection. What we're gonna do now is jump over to my speedtest.net app here. My internet connection is 10 gigabits per second, so we should have enough bandwidth to make a good uh, assessment as to whether or not we can get the full five gigs out of this. Now this is the download test and as you can see we're getting pretty much what you would expect out of a five gig adapter accounting for overhead on both the downloads that just completed along with the uploads here. So all together it looks like we are getting our five gigabit performance out of this device using the USB-C connection here to my Mac and this performance was similar to what we saw on my Windows and Linux computers a little bit earlier. So all in, it's a very simple product, not much more to say about it. It works as advertised. I do like Pluggable for these kinds of devices because they are a US-based company with domestic support. So if anything ever goes wrong, you've got somebody to call. And I think the price point here is reasonable for the performance that we just saw. So if you do need to double your speed from 2.5 over USB, I think this device might be worth taking a look at. That'll do it for this one. Until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.